Hey everyone, my name is S Comic Maker and welcome back to another episode of Free Draw Friday. So as you all know, last week I took kind of a mini break and while I still posted a video, I did not actually draw last Friday. Well, I wanted to make it up to you all by having a larger, more time consuming drawing this week. And boy did it take a long time to edit. Usually I edit videos of me drawing with lengths of like an hour and a half to two hours maybe, but this time I had to edit a three and a half hour video and my editing program was screaming at me. <laughs> Probably about time I invested in a better program at this point. Anyway, as I have mentioned before, I'm an art teacher and I am so excited for summer to finally get here. I have one week left of school and then I finally get to relax for a while. Are some of you guys still in school or has summer started for you already? If it has, I am so jealous. I'm actually heading to Japan for two weeks in the middle of June, so I have a big trip ahead of me, but... I'll at least have about a week and a half to chill and unload my brain before my long vacation. So thinking about vacation, a lot of us tend to think of like a beach and relaxing by the ocean. Well, I live in Florida where I am surrounded by hot weather and beaches. But regardless, I've been wanting to draw something calming and a beach came to mind first. But, you know, I had to make it nerdy. So, Pokemon it is. I don't think I've drawn much Pokemon stuff on this channel. In fact, I don't think I've drawn anything at all. But if you don't know me in person, I am a big Pokemon fan, as is my husband. We both grew up playing the games and collecting the cards, and we just love them. So I was eager to draw some Pokemon this time. So once again, I was inspired by one of my old drawings. It's kind of like a draw this again challenge if you think about it. <laughs> but at the beginning of this video, I showed a quick clip of an old sketchbook from when I was probably in about the, when I was like in the third or fourth grade maybe. And it's a drawing of a Pikachu lounging in a chair with a drink on a table and a cute little Pikachu lady in a grass skirt serving him on vacation by the beach. Back then, the heart-tail Pikachu wasn't a thing for the girl Pikachu, so I decided to change it in this drawing. But I wanted to incorporate all the things that I had in my original drawing, too. So I have the two Pikachus, one of them's a girl, and the boy Pikachu sitting in the chair, and there's like a palm tree in the middle. Though I got the idea later on to change the palm tree into an Alolan Executor instead. Do you guys like the Alolan Pokemon? I like a lot of them. Um, some of them I think were misses, but I think that the Alolan Executor is probably my favorite. It's just too funny. Well, I know he's not quite the palm tree that's in my old drawing, but he's still a palm tree, but just like a living one, I guess. <laughs> I really enjoyed working on this drawing this week. In fact, I don't think I've put this much detail in a drawing of mine in a very long time. I used to do a lot of detail when I was in like high school. And I don't know, I guess I tried to simplify things more when I got into like college and after college, but I like having a lot of things in one picture. I also don't think I've drawn so many Pokemon in a scene like this at the same time. And I would really love to actually do something like this again. In fact, many of the Pokemon in this drawing I've never actually even drawn before. 
So like Apom, Shelder, Krabby, Tentacruel, Whale Lord, and Executor. Yeah, I've I've never drawn any of them before, so it was a nice challenge for myself, but typically I don't usually draw animals or creatures and stuff, at least not as much as I draw people, so I I really liked the challenge in this. I also decided that it's been a while since I used watercolors, so I really wanted to use them again, even though I did end up doing some touch-ups at the end with Copic markers. Overall, I think it's a fun piece that came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to, so that's a plus. I hope you guys like it. Oh, um, quick announcement. I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier in this video, and I did mention it in a video in March. Um, I am going to Japan for two weeks in June. Um, so there will be a period of time where I, I think for about two Fridays I won't be able to post a video. I'm going to try to make extra videos between the end of school and when I leave, but um, I'll make a small announcement video um, if and when that time comes. So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. Um, but in the meantime, for the rest of this video, I'm going to let the music take over for a little bit and I will see you guys at the end.
All right, that is it for me, guys. Be sure to check out my social media if you want to see my drawings ahead of time. Links for all of that are down below. Also, I posted a new webcomic page that I'll link down below as well. If you don't remember where to find it, I have my webcomic a day at a time on Tapas, Webtoons, and Smack Jeeves. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon.